Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Bumbo. In the previous episode, we played as a boy known as Bumbo the Weird. And we unlocked the basement, as you can see here. Uh, there's been an update since, there's been a few different changes and stuff. But I think this time, we're going to play as Bumbo the Nimble. Because we can play as kind of whoever we want this time around, we just gotta get our way down through the basement. And Bumbo the Nimble has been my favourite character to play as so far. He just has so many, like, abilities to ball out of control. I'll admit that Bumbo the Weird really does have a lot of that in himself as well. But... Last I played, Bumba the Nimble, probably still my favourite. Obviously, we've still got a few other characters, Bumba the Dead, and we've got another one as well. I can't remember the name of the other one. Uh, to unlock, which I imagine will unlock one of those on this run. If we do manage to win, we shall see. We shall see. It's been a little while since we've had a death here. I think, I think we got a death in our first episode. We had, hadn't one since, but apparently the basement is where the game starts to get a lot harder. So I'm going to go with a piss energy straight off the bat because that gives us our blade. I'm going to be building that up as soon as possible. Um, we can actually do a burn there. I'm actually just going to set that up for the next turn and be, be just ready to take this guy out. Um, that's going to be a little bit of overkill, to be honest. Like it's going to be actually it's going to be quite a lot of overkill. Um, we're going to be dealing what ten <laughs> ten damage. We just dealt ten damage. Oh my god, that was a bit insane, really, wasn't it? <laughs> No, do, do you know what? We can do this. We can go one, two, and three. You know, to get our blade going. Then we can t get in before he manages to jump forward, deal any damage to us. First turn, we're off to a good start. Let's have a look what items we got here. Destroy all tiles of one type. That sounds amazing. Um, a razor could be very, very useful for us. It means we can get a lot more piss on the board if we need to. Is there a piss play available for us right now is the question. Um, we could do that there, but then we're not going to be able to get one on there. We could do that there. Hmm. It seems... It maybe seems ill-advised, but I could I could go for a thingy. Now, let's just do this for now. Let's just do this for now. Get a, get a burn thrown. Burn thrown. B -b 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 bone thrown. Because we're going to get some remover tiles from that. And that's going to be rather useful for us either way. So we can drop that down to there. I'm just trying to see if there's a way that we can get this to work in our favour here. Um, is there a burn play available? I don't think there's any players available right now, if I'm if I'm looking at the board correctly. Right now, I'll just set up for a little later on. We'll do that, and we'll end our turn. Okay, these guys, all three of them are going to attack. I think we can just take this guy out. Oh, we've got a poop play as well there. That's actually fantastic. So we'll place that there. We'll throw the burn here. So that takes out one, deals with another, and then we can do, do a piss play here, which is rather nice. And that can give us some damage on this guy here. And we can hope that we can maybe, just maybe, create something to stop him. And we did. That was a good turn, that. Good turn indeed. And now we've got destroy all of one type and destroy all the poops. And that's actually done a really good job for us there. And I'm going to be really risky and destroy all the greens as well. Oh, wait, that didn't destroy... Oh, that, that, that was two new ones there. Okay, okay, I see. Um, we don't need the HP either, so I'm going to destroy them hearts. And let's see what we can make here. We might be able to make a few things. Remove a single tile. Let's do that. It's going to create a four burn. And we can finish off you with that. We might as well. I know we gummed him up, but we might as well. And we got a piss blade from that too. I will insta-kill him because the poop is still going to stay there. No matter what, it's a little bit better in that regard um, than using... A bugger. Right. Right, right, right. So let's actually do that again. We'll make another burn play here. And this is what I mean by, even with the simplest of items, you can really get some crazy, crazy stuff going on with this guy. Um, it's really insane. So, is there a good play here? Yeah, there is. Okay, so let's do that. Give us a bit of burn. Uh, sorry, a bit of tooth, a bit of burn. There you go. We get an extra move. That's going to give us another piss blade. Thank you, P-Needle. And can we finish this off in this last turn? That is that is the question. Can we finish this off in this last turn? I think we can. If we do this and then this, we get our blade ready. And we go for another hit. And that's another brilliant move there. Didn't get hit at all. and managed to take them all out in a relatively decent speed. Uh, so, start off with that. 
I want to be starting off with this mana or yellow mana if it's available. Anything like the closest thing to a one move is going to be better. So I think we can do this. Drop that down there and then that down there. That's going to give us an extra move. Uh, it's going to give us another needle. Well, our first needle actually, not another. My mistake. Uh, and I don't think... I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to destroy a, a burn of any of like anywhere. And that's going to give us the ability to des destroy these. I'm going to destroy all the buggers and see where that leaves us. So we'll at least get this play here. And that's going to be a bit of damage off on one of these guys. A little bit of mana gain as well. I keep forgetting that we get the extra mana gain from killing things as this guy. And we have one move left. I don't think this move is going to end up being too impactful, to be honest. I think I'll just set up for next turn. And we'll leave it at that. Because then we can move that down into there. We can get a piss blade on you, like that. That's a critical hit there as well. We can go for a poop play there. But I think I'm rather going to go for the tooth. Get a tooth play going on there. We'll hit that guy. Unfortunately, I didn't even realize I won't be hitting this guy. Uh, we do have another move left here. We could place a poop, but I'm more I'm more inclined to um, try and go for an actual kill here. So yeah, we can do we can do this and then remove and remove. And that's a decent way to do it. We could also we also could have just destroyed some uh, some to get some piss mana and uh, use our, our needle. But so far, this is going well. I'm definitely getting a, a grasp. We've got to skip to the next chapter. Honestly, I don't know how useful that is. Juiced with plus one move seems a lot more useful. And we're fighting Loaf right here. Loaf is... Uh, he's a, an, an alright boss. I haven't had too many issues with him. He can be a little bit of a slower fight just because when you push him back, he does create more poops for you to fight. So that can become a little problematic. I think we're just going to go with... Oh, actually, that was stupid. I'm going to do this first. I could have done so many things about that better. But you win some, you lose some. Right. Uh, do we want to remove any tiles? Yeah, let's, let's remove this. No, it's the wrong one. Whoopsie. Give us some mana. Not a big problem. Uh, I'll throw that at you. And then... I'll get plus one move, because I might as well. Then I can, out of that, I can get another move. Out of that, I can use my blade. Nice. Yeah, every time we hit him, as you can see here, he's doing that. Let's destroy all these poops. I know that seems foolish, but... It's just going to create so much space for us on this board. I'm going to do that with the buggers as well. It's a dangerous move doing that. It really is. But... It, it creates... A lot for us. So my idea here is pull this tooth down and then across. And we get a bit more tooth when I to go on that. There you go. Got a critical there as well. And then we can remove a few more. Is there anything else here that we want to do? We don't have any moves left. Yes, we can remove that and get a burn. Nice. Throw that at him. There you go. We've got a piss blade. I don't want to use that yet. But as you can see, everything's coming together now. Everything's really coming together. And there you go. We get that going on. Um, let's destroy the poops. Get rid of all of them. Good, good, good. Then, technically, we can do this here. Destroy this one poop for an extra move. And that seems like a very, very valuable target there. Uh, this is a corn poop, so I'm going to begin destroying him straight away. I've actually realized by watching Northern Line that if he walks into the corn poops, the, the poop gets flung at you and you take damage. So you got to be careful about that. Um, it's two damage on him. I would very much like to take this guy out here. Um, actually, yeah, that's, the, that's, that's a good play. It's a good play. It's a little bit wasteful, but not so much. Not so much. We can throw that there. Ah, oh, no, that 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 was a monumental misplay by me there. I should not have done that. Uh, we might be able to get something going on here, though. Let's have a look-see. Let's have a look-see. So, actually, I've just realized, if we remove this tile here, that gives us two piss players. One of those will deal three damage, and the next one will deal four. And that will be an instant kill. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm really getting a hang of this game now, and it's starting to... It's starting to feel really, really good. Uh, so I've, I've really learned that... Ooh, heal on room clear, free burn throw. Healing on room clear definitely seems more advisable, especially considering I don't think this comes with mana. 
So I'm going to go with a stem cell and heal on room clear. That seems much more valuable. Uh, but yeah, I've learned this wheel is, is very, very important. So let's go for that. Um, luck is obviously our main stat here. I don't actually know what luck does, so I'm hoping not to get it. We've got the 20 coin payout. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we've got basically an additional five coins here. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping for puzzle damage or move, really. They'd, they'd be the two big ones. 20 coins again. This, this is the same as last time, my god. We're just rolling and rolling. Let's go, go, go. Oh my god. The luckiest man alive. Again. We're just building up so much money here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insanity. This is absolute insanity. We have gained 20 coins. Okay, finally we got luck. I don't know what luck does still. I still don't understand. Is that like better item rewards or what? And there you go. We got a HP up as well. I'm happy with the result there. Now let's go over here and go to... Um... Reduce spell cost. We'll reduce the cost of this one here. Um, then we'll move over here and we'll play one on you and see if we get. Uh, restarts the floor with one heart. That could be useful, I suppose. Probably won't keep it for long if I get it. Unfortunately, we got zero payouts anyway, so we can exit. Feeling pretty decent about that. Like, we got a luck upgrade, which, like I said, I'm not really sure how luck works in this game. But we also got a HP upgrade as well, so I can't I can't be too mad about that. Getting extra HP there is going to be quite valuable moving into the late game. So, let's pick at this board and see what can be done right off the bat here. So, looking at this, this board of enemies, we've got two healers in the back and three normal enemies. Every enemy on the board has three HP. So... In an ideal ideal world, we want to be getting that piss blade as strong as possible, as quick as possible. So we want to be really going for that. And it only costs three piss per, per one now. So we can play into that a little more than usual, which is nice. I'm going to go for... Wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. There you go. He healed that guy off there. So... Now, this isn't great because we've got three enemies attacking... We do get the half-heart heal, so technically it's only two enemies attacking, even if they both hit, because we get that half-heart, no matter what. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do something ill-advised. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to just do this. I'm going to try and take you out. Fortunately, no critical hits there. I will remove one piss in order to finish him off. There you go. Um, now. Can we make something happen? I don't think so. Damn, this is a bit of a bad move on my behalf here. It's not not the best. I may be taking some, some da bad damage here. Two half hearts. If we could reuse that by one, that'd be so good. Uh, we can only get one reduced on there, so we are going to take two hits of damage here. It's a little bit of a shame, but you win some, you lose some. It's our first bit of damage. I can't be too mad about it at all. Uh, so let's do this, and we'll get some bugger mana. We'll bugger him up. Then, with that, I'm going to destroy all these poops, because there's too many of them. Yeah! I love that. Uh, right. Still, not a great board for us here. Not a great board at all. Maybe we shouldn't have destroyed them poops. Right, I'm just going to have to prepare for the next turn. We're going to take another hit yet again. I do realise this is not ideal, but this is a difficult this is a difficult fight. We've got a bad board, which isn't really isn't really doing what we need it to. So we can bugger one of these guys up, which is nice. Can we finish this guy? We can definitely finish this guy. Good, good, good. And if we can get another bugger or something on this guy, that'd be great. Uh, hmm. I think we do this here. That's going to give us everything, apparently. My god. That's actually going to give us lethality. Wow. I was not expecting to get a kill out of this, but we got very lucky there. Uh, but that gave us just a shit ton of mana, which is just brilliant. Just all the mana in the world. Uh, and then, with all that mana, we can actually... Let's let's first of all piss blade and kill this guy. Okay, this is this has turned out extremely well. Um... And I think I'm actually going to play for the half heart here. 
Oh shit, that was stupid. Don't worry about it. Uh, destroy all the greens. Throw that. We actually have a heart player right here, so I don't need to do this one. Right. Uh, destroy all of one type. Do that. Got an extra move. Got that going on. Wowee, this is going well. Uh, get an extra move. So now I think... Wait, where did our... Ah, oh, damn, I accidentally used it. Let's just do this. Get a half heart. We might as well while I've got the safety. We'll use our piss blade to take out this guy in one fell swoop. Doing 10 damage there. That's amazing. Take out you. And... I think with that we can do this. And then take out you. Wowee. Doing 7 damage there. Wow. That went well. And we actually got a heal out of it as well. We built up towards the end there and really made something happen. Uh, movement gaining attack. We're using piss too much. Uh, hurts an enemy that hits you. I don't like either of these, to be honest. I really don't think either of, the, either of these are too important to us. Because... We'll take euthanasia, I guess. But I don't really like either of those. This guy here in the middle is only going to take puzzle damage. We have to be aware of that and make sure we play to that. Right. So, we can put that there. Is there anything we can make right off the bat here? Yes, there is. Let's do a burn place right off the bat instead. That's going to be a little bit more beneficial. Get this guy out of the way. Our mana gained. And I'm going to just set up for a tooth play. I actually got a poop play there. Um, so, I'll put that in the middle of there. Get ready for that guy. Get plus one movement. Then, we can get a move here. So, let's do the move first. Cool. We'll do that. Stab you. Stabby, stabby. I love me some stabby stabby. Wait. I'm I'm seeing something happen here. So we could do that there. Hmm. No, it's not gonna work. I'm I'm thinking maybe can we make a seven? One, two, three. Four. It's not gonna work, is it? Let's just put you there anyways. Get a move. And do that. It's something. It's better than nothing. And we can finish you off. Actually, it's not going to quite finish him, but it's getting, getting close. Uh, we can get an extra move here. Then, with that extra move, can we do anything important? Not particularly, right? Not particularly. So, we need two burn and two poop. We have neither of any. So, that's kind of put us in a shit position here. Uh... Can't make a bugger play here or anything. Right, so let's take out one of these guys. Or oh, very close to at least. I keep forgetting how much damage we're dealing with each of these things. Let's make a bugger play that I just realized is there. Let's gum you up. Make sure you can't do anything. Uh, hurts an enemy that hits you. Nah, that's fine. I'll leave that for now. Don't need to be messing around with that. Don't be healing people. Healed everything up. You bastard. Uh... Right, I'd very much like this, but we're not really in a good position to get that, are we? Not at all, not at all, not at all. Damn, this is a bad, this is a, again, quite a bad board. Let's do the, the thing that makes sense here. And just straight up get this ready. Finish you off. Having that built up damage is just always going to be beneficial to us. I don't think anything's attacking here, so we don't have to play too cautiously. We do have two moves left, though, so I might as well do this. Get some burn mana going. Get you out of my face. There's another guy in the back line there that I didn't even see. Uh, let's destroy all green here, because we're just in the way. And let's destroy all poop as well. And get super defensive in this bitch. Ooh. That's up for a nice piss play next turn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to wait on that there. Because this guy's looking to attack. That's good there. Then we can piss blade you, get you dead. Then we need to do some board damage to this guy. So let's see. I mean, we have this. Let's do that and then remove some tiles. Damn, we can't remove enough. Very sad, very upsetting. Let's just do that then. Finish you off. 
Good, good. Everything's ready now. We get plus one movement here, which is exactly what we want. I'd like to take you out. Kill you in one hit. There you go. Um, I'm going to gamble here. Unfortunately, my gamble has not paid off. Not a single damn time. God damn it. That wasn't good. Uh, I'm just going to have to do this. Right, let's throw that at you. Get you finished off. Where do we line now? So we can get an extra move here. Damn. Okay, actually, actually, this is, this is okay. This is okay. We can do that. That's going to give us a little bit more tooth mana. And then another piss blade. And there you go. Combat done. And we heal to full. We're back up to full HP at the end of that fight. It's very exciting that when you manage to play. You, you, you play just right so you end up healing back up to full. So, not again, nothing's attacking here. So I am going to go for the piss blade. Especially with it being a big one. Um, then we'll strike this guy. I want him dead as soon as possible, really. Because he's got that little thing above his head. I think that means he does like a double attack or something. I can't remember exactly what it means. But I know it's bad. Uh, can we get anything toothy going on here? I'd very much like to get something toothy going on. Yeah, we can. Let's do that. Let's get the tooth going on. Because then we can strike that guy one more time. Then we can piss blade him. Which I think is best to finish him off. Unfortunately, we've got a crit there. I would have rather got a crit on a different enemy, but you win some, you lose some. That's life. Uh, and then we'll destroy this for another burn. We'll throw that at this guy. This guy is going to create a cloud. We cannot throw through that cloud. If we do, we will be in big doo-doo. Big doo-doo town. Uh, let's do that there. Can we hit this boom fly? I am unsure. I am unsure. I really don't know. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna prepare here. Get that ready. And shall I move that into place there? Yeah. Actually I got a burn there. Let's see if we can hit this fly. We can, good, and actually critted, so that was an instant kill there. Let's get all these buggers out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, um, re-rolls the puzzle board. This is an active item. It can only be done once per play. Um, we've not got too many things using using this, so I'm going to go for the split attire. I think that's a bit better. And we got Gibbs, which is apparently one of the easiest bosses. It said heavy hits are better. Um, yeah, apparently he's one of the easier bosses, so I'm kind of excited to, uh, to fight this guy. I've not fought him yet. Uh, right, so go for a piss play straight off the bat. Get that going on. But yeah, as you can see, he spawns little glob things every time you get hit, you get hit on him. I'm just going to put a poop in the way of his glob thing there for now. Get some mana. Then we're going split to a, split a tile in two. It's difficult to use this optimally, but I think I'm going to just do this for now. And just take some mana. Right. He actually healed up there, I think. So. I'm just trying to build up mana. Oh, wait, he mana in too. I didn't even realize... He manager end as well. Okay, we've got to be careful of that. He heals and manager ends. It's not great for us at all. We critted that, which is just wonderful. Uh, let's do that. That's really good. Just gum you up. I really would rather not hit right now, but we might as well take you out. I'm going to go for that. Then let's remove that tile and that tile and do that there. And there you go, he's dead. Look at that. Wowee. we uh -huh, wow wah wah uh -huh, where were we wah Did pretty well there. And we're coming out with 24 coins, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, burns deal plus one damage. Wild cards give one mana. I think the burn one is going to be definitely better. Would have been nice if we'd have taken the other one that would have synergized quite well, actually. Let's reroll the board again, see if we can get some movement or puzzle damage. Please, movement or puzzle damage. Or 20 coins, again. It's 20 coin madness is, is a bit insane game. I don't know what you're doing to me, but... The 20 coins are getting getting out of control right now. Another heart, that that really puts us in a good stand for winning right now. Um, then we can go for... Spell hurt more. Let's go with spell hurt more for that. Uh, then we've got two full players on this thing as well. So let's let's do two players on this. While I get some mana, this is the one that we just missed out on. So it'd be kind of nice to get that. And we'll just take a fit. Oh, damn, I keep losing at this game. Kept on, chance of damage up. I'm, I'm well into that. 
Go for the middle again. We got a soul hat. We got a soul hat. Not, it's not quite cared on, but I will, I will stand by it and say it's pretty decent. Into the halls of Belial. We have made it through this floor for. It's the next floor that we haven't faced yet, so let's see how we fare against this. We're definitely making it in a better time this time around. So, I think we go for... Wait, so we've got to remember that burns deal more damage. So, if we get a burn set up straight away, we can actually... This is bad. What have I done there? Nah, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. It, sounds, it may seem stupid. But it's a double burn player, which means one kill and two kill right off the bat look. And that set us up so nicely. And then we can destroy a bunch of green tiles in order to do this, which is going to set us up nicely for our piss blade and some extra moves, which we can kill this guy. Okay, I forgot he does that. But he's pretty much going to die in the next turn. Uh, the bubble just prevents damage, so we don't have to worry too much about that. So let's for now finish this guy off. I don't think that does any damage to us, the bubble. I'm pretty sure it just prevents damage. Uh, let's just do that. Stab it. Pop your bubble. Uh, remove that. Remove that. He's going to attack us. Yep, thought so. Half a soul heart gone, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, I will do this here. This will hit him for one damage. Then a piss blade is ready. And hit him for another. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. First room done. And what do we get here? Spells cost less for the room. Knock back front row. I'm going to go with knock back front row. And I'm going to get rid of that. Knocking back front row generally isn't that good. But it does mean that certain enemies you can stop from attacking entirely. Which is always nice. Uh, I'm going to go for the early piss play here. And just get some early damage with this thing. And start leveling it up a little bit. Then I'm going to go for a tooth. I'm just going to keep attacking the same enemy here. This guy only pops up later on I think. We've actually almost killed that guy as well. Which is really nice. So... Can we make something happen here? Not really. He's cursed me. So has he. And so has he. Curses aren't great, but we can remove a tile. Oh my god, that's a lot of curses. We can remove a tile, so it's not as bad as it would be otherwise. This guy is going for an attack, though. So let's do that there. Will these guys curse on death? I bet they will. No, they don't. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'll throw out that guy. I want to get rid of these guys early. Then I can needle you. Got to remember, I've got to try and prepare, prepare for this guy too. So. So none of these are in the front row, so there's no point knocking them back right now. Uh, let's destroy all tiles of one type. And get rid of all our curses. That's that's brilliant. <laughs> Just realizing I can do that now was, was very, very nice. Get two moves there. I'm going to go for one bugger play here. Just so I can reroll all the buggers. Get rid of all of them, because there's just too many of them in the way. Let's go for another piss play here. And go for another spell that can deal a full hell of a lot of damage. Eight. My god. A big old eight. And we can do that there. Get some poop in front of this guy. That defends us for a little later on. And anything else we can play into here? Just do that. Let's just set up another poop, shall we? And split a tile in two. I might as well just get more of them. More, I tell you. Haha. -ha. Psych. You thought. Right. Oh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this board, to be honest. Um, what do we need for destroy all? We need everything for everything. We've got, like, no mana left. Uh, so let's go for a piss. Go for a piss. Take out this guy in front. This guy's going to attack, so we'll take out this guy as well. Even though he has a quite low HP for the amount of damage we're dealing. Then we will do... A burn play here. Oh, actually, we've got a tooth play. I didn't realise. Thank you. Can we do anything with this? I'm just going to get more burns on the board. Just get more burns ready. Actually, we can do this as well. 
And finish that guy off. Very nice, very nice. And then we're pretty set up. We're pretty set up now. So we can do this here. And this is going to deal two damage to the first guy. And it's going to crit the second guy, guaranteed. Oh, wait. We didn't get two burns there. I don't know why I thought I would. I don't know why I thought I would. Let's just do this, shall we? Get a five burner. Crit instantly. He's dead. <laughs> nope. Crit. Damn it. <laughs> but don't worry. We've got this ready. And there you go. Look at that. We're starting to really get a hang of everything here. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I've been really enjoying it quite a lot. It's just... It's nice, it's sort of refreshing to have a puzzle game like this that's kind of thought-provoking and makes you think about the moves that you're taking and things like that. It's not just simple, plug-and-play, easy, away you, go, away you go. You actually have to sit down and think about what you're doing and, like, how different moves that you play are going to impact the entire run. I really like that. I think it's really good. Let's get this ready. Oh, you're all bubbles. You're all bubbles at the minute, aren't you? Let's do that there. That's going to take out one of these guys. Got mana gain there as well. Damn. Uh, shit, this isn't this isn't ideal. This is not ideal. Do we have any poop to play? We have a poop. Let's, let's play a poop. Put that there. We can get plus one movement out of that. And another plus one movement out of that. Very much like that. We'll do that there. Is that a good idea? Do that there. Yeah, do that there and that there. And with that, we can hit him. And we can get our piss blade ready again. We don't want to be doing that, though. So, actually... Ugh, I'm, I'm torn. I'm very torn. Can we get lethality here? We can't. Not in one move, we can't, can we? So, let's just do this. Just try removing some random stuff. Get some random mana and hope for the best. Unfortunately, we're not getting what we want. But I tried. Ah, oh, we're one off. Look at that. Evil game. Then let's just destroy this guy. We're going to have to. You all go for the attack. I don't like this at all. Yep. I, I played that terribly. I didn't even think about the enemies hitting me right there. I've got to take out all these bubbles. That was a really bad play there. We are going to get healed for half a heart here, though, so we've technically not lost any HP yet. Let's get rid of all of these. Do that. I don't want to use my blade on any enemies yet. Let's, let's just get rid of the bubbles first. And we can take that guy out, Lethality. Get him gone. Can we do this any more? Let's have a look. See, so we can do that and that. Get that ready. Stab him. You're a bit of a cheeky boy. So what are we going to do about you? What are we going to do about you? Can we get any poop in the way of him? We can. Cool. Let's get some poop in the way of him. Oh, my God. I hate myself so much. I can at least do this. I do that so often. So easy to misclick in this game. That actually pops the bubble. Good to know. Um, not exactly what we were looking to do. But it is good to know nonetheless. Uh, so. So. Are we screwed? <laughs> are we screwed? I think we're taking damage here because of that misplay. There isn't any poop or anything I can see that I can create in one move here. So let's just get ready for next turn. Sadly, I'm just going to try this out, see if it does anything. It didn't. Oh, wait. Okay, he re-upped his bubble. That's something, at least. Uh, hmm. Not particularly good. Really not particularly good at all. Oh, my God. I'm terrible at this game right now. I don't want to use that because it's going to kill him. I'm just going to take the damage. Take it on the noggin. Hit him with this burn. The double burn. Oh, no, it's poop and burn. Then we can get Lethality. Wow, that was a bit of a grueling journey, but I did it. And we get the half-heart heal as well at the end of combat, so don't worry about it too much. Still, though, that was that was not feeling too great to start with there. Uh, add three wild cards. The wild card things are so good, so I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to take away the um, the splitting thing because that's not very useful right now and the, the knockback might be quite useful later on. Matching specific colour tiles is the key. Really? Oh my god. If only the game would have told me that before. Could have been so much further ahead right now. Uh, trying to look for early moves we can do here. So we've got that one there. Is this the guy that we have to throw a bugger at first? Might well be. Might well be. Let's just... Yeah, let's just end our turn there. I'll do some mana gaining. Okay, he instantly hits us. He doesn't give a damn about anything. He don't give a damn about nothing or no one. Do that. I don't think this will damage him, but we'll try it. Yeah, resisted it. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I think we got to bugger him somehow. So let's move that down there and that there. Bugger? Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. He just ate that and just did what he wanted to. Okay. Now I'm a bit concerned. I'm not quite sure how to stop this guy. Bugger him again, maybe? Is that something that he wants me to do? Damn, I'm going to get hit here again, aren't I? Wow, I don't know how to fight this boss at all. Do I have to hit him with a burn because he's white? I do. I have learnt. I have learnt a lot. Destroy all these poops then. Uh, and I'll destroy all these teeth because I need to fight with burns. I have learnt so much. Took me too long to realise that. Does the piss blade still work? Okay, it does. Cool. Just keep wailing on this guy, I guess. Destroy all those. Got all those going on. Destroy all these. Get another piss blade. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, eight damage. That was huge. Oh my god, that was huge. Okay, we killed him. That didn't go too well to start with. I really couldn't understand what I had to do there, but... We eventually got there. We eventually found out. So, charge any item, may add blind to attacks. We might as well go with the blinds because we don't have any active items. So, first thing I want to do is I want to heal twice. Thank you. Uh, we could go with another spell's hurt more. We we'll probably will go for there. There you go. Then let's go back over here. Put down this. See if we can get another health upgrade. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm more looking for the other two, really. There we go. Movement is so precious. So, so precious. And there you go. We're coming out the shop there, feeling very happy about ourselves. Going down to the basement, which, like I said, it's my first time going down here. We may face some spooky boys. Some very spooky boys. Let's see how this goes. Right, so I don't know what these enemies do. I'm assuming when we kill these guys, they curse us. I That would be my, my assumption. Let's have a look to see. Yeah, let's do this. Start off with a three damage one of these. This will kill him. Give us a curse, maybe? No, no, no. That's just the, their, their visuals, I guess. That's just how they look. That's just how they be rolling. Uh, I will do this and this, because we get double damage burns. Hit you. Four. Just, just going beautifully so far. We've been doomed by this guy. Doomed basically means it removes one of these. But the plus one movement thing, that's a big deal. Getting rid of that is a big deal. So... So, I'll do this. So we get a double there, look. So we can put some poop in the front and then smack him about. He does give us mana drain on hit. That's that's really not good. I don't like that. <laughs> Admittedly, I hate that. Right. Where can we go from here? I'm sure do that for now. This guy's going to curse us again. This guy's going to prime for an attack. The curses aren't really mattering too much right now, so don't worry about that. Boo. Don't worry about it, boo. We're going to hurt this guy a lot. Did he heal last time? I just have 6 HP. If he, if he had 6 HP, that's kind of mental. Uh, it's not too much we can do from here, is there? This mana drain is really, really harshing my mellow. Damn. Uh, we got three moves here, so we can get some stuff done. We can do that and that. We can kill this guy, which is nice. Mana drain again. Okay, whenever we, whenever we hit him, it's mana drain. I thought it was. Difficult, though, that is. Uh, quite brutal. We'll pull that down here. Kind of get ready. 
This guy just curses. He doesn't seem to attack us at all. Doesn't matter though. No matter. No bother. He's dead. Stab him up. I go out through our first room into our item room. Anything we're going to want to swap with anything here. I don't really know. May add splash damage to attacks. Oh wait. This is just a straight up thingy. Oh my god. Yeah. Splash damage to attack sounds really good. Yeah. There's a big potato sack thing in the background there. I don't know what that's about, but I'm scared. So, we've got some we've got some keepers here as well. So, we'll, we'll take out this guy because he's got low HP here. That's got 8 health. Things have got really high HP around here. Wow. Shit is getting real. Shit is getting really, really real. Okay. Let's think about this logically. So we want to make burn. Not burn, sorry. Tooth. Because we need to be able to destroy mana. So, we'll do that there. We'll take you out because you've got a little pulse thing on your head. We'll take out two of these. Actually, we just needed one. We can do like that on you there. Then we can go like that and get that ready. He's guy's going to all move around. That guy's got shades on, so we actually did blind on attack there, which is nice. We're going to need to get some defense going on here. Defense is going to start to be much more of a, of a priority now. It hasn't really been so far. We've been just all about the offense, but defense is going to be quite a big part of our strategy now. Just because the enemies are going to be so much more aggressive... And they're going to be hitting harder, I do believe. So, if I'm going by Gungeon logic, they'll definitely be hitting harder. So, where can we make poop right now? Is there any poop available? We've got two moves here, so it's plausible. We've got one there and one there. There you go. There you go, put that there. Knock back front row enemies. Get away from me. Ow, you still hit me somehow. So these guys have sad faces on them now. I don't know what that's about. Is that the splash damage thing? I think it is. I did get hit twice there, though. That's not great. Uh, let's look at some more stuff we can do here. So I'm going to do this because it's going to set up for a nice P play. Um, so we'll throw that at you. Because you've been healing somehow. I don't really know how. I don't know what's been going on with this big fat balloon guy. Let's get some moves going on. Let's destroy all of these tiles. Because we can kill this guy now. Very, very nice. Get another move. We can kill that guy one hit. Ten damage. Boy, oi, 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 oi. Let's move that over. Get another move. Attack that guy. Probably a bit foolish to use the, uh, the, that on him. But I have a plan. Do not worry. Do not fear. For Tetelmenal's brain is here. Good. We made it through that. Unfortunately, we came out of that fight half a heart down, which leading into whatever boss lies on this floor could be terrible for us. We'll have to see. Uh, everything here looks pretty harmless, but looks can be deceiving. So let's just do a burn player. Zero damage. Cool. These are all guys that need to hit twice sort of thing. So kind of good that I did that. Let's just set up for a P player. He's going to set up his bubble. We get doomed. Please don't doom. If he dooms my piss blade, we are done for. We might even want to take him out first, but we kind of have to take out this guy. There you go. Got a bit of splash damage there. Right. I don't think that's going to do much for us. No, actually, it is. It is. It is going to do some stuff for us. Let's do it. Place that down. Then we get two free moves out of that. Or three, even, maybe. Uh, it's going to free up the board a little bit for us. I'm going to be a bit stupid here and take out this poop. Oh, wait. It has to be hit three times? That's insane. Let's remove one of those. I'm actually going to pop the bubble with this. And we've blinded him as well. I don't know what blinding does. It just puts some shades on them, but... We'll find out soon, I'm sure. Right. Let's um, put that there. I'm going to put that there as well. Is there any mana we really need? Yes. Let's get some burn mana. Get an extra move. And we can make a move there. Get a piss blade. Yeah, yes. I like it. And then we can make a burn player like this. Which is going to destroy this poop fully, I should think. Good, good. Then, all we need to do is remove one of those, and we have Lethality, yes! Okay, very, very nice indeed, and we're back up to full health. Getting that room done so well there really helped. Uh, heals on first turn, okay, we have to take that, 
and pick a trinket to replace. Uh, I think the chance to blind isn't that good. The splash damage is probably better. So we'll do that. So now we've got heal on first turn, heal on last turn. So if there's another floor after this, we'll be, we'll be just fine here. So is this like the husk of a fly or is this blue baby? It kind of looks like blue baby. So we'll go with piss play to start with. That's three damage right off the bat. This guy's 18 health. Um, we got a burn as well there, which is really nice. So he spawned a fly, but I can't tell. Is that fly in front of him or not? We'll find out. It's not. Okay. Now that one is. But this is like a fly husk, definitely. Right. So. Where can we go from here? What direction can we take this in? I reckon we do this. Get that big, big, big tooth throw. And we can do another one of those. Getting down to 9 HP. We can do that. And we can do that and get rid of all of them shit pieces. Little shit nuggets. Throw that at you, I guess. Throw that at you, I guess. And that should set us up nicely for, yep, another one of these. Destroy all of them. Get another move. Um, we can do that to get rid of the fly. Move him out of the way and then piss blade. How much damage you got on piss blade right now? Five. One more should kill him. Oh god, what the fuck is that? It's some sort of soul thing. I don't like the look of it. It scares me. So let's take out one of these. And kill it in one. Okay, that didn't kill it in one. It did one damage. Damn it. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling the game would stop me from doing that. But we can do it again. Huzzah! Seven damage. He just deals one every time. I had a feeling. This might deal two, though. Nope. <laughs> just deals one every time. Uh, let's take out the green. Didn't really help at all, that did it. Uh, and the poop. Goddamn game. Keep doing this. Keep wailing on this guy. Got a really good build set up here, so we might be able to get something going on right now. And then we can do this and this. Hit him with that. And then we can finish him off with a piss blade. Lovely. We got him. Ta-da. Basement, you have been bested. Or basement one at least. There might be another floor after this. I'm still not 100% sure. Okay, no, we beat that one. Nice. And with an extra hard bash, Bumbo crushed that dead boy to mush. Finally, Bumbo happy. Now Bumbo can be alone. Alone with coin. But Bumbo hears something. Something mean. Something huge. Something. Isaac. Who were you oh, talking no. to? Where did you get that stuff? I oh. thought I threw it out. He left us, Isaac. He's gone. He never loved us. Don't you get it? No, no, Mama, please. Isaac, listen to me. It's just us now. It's just us now, Isaac. You and Mama. Oh my god, that's such a cool ending. What's this? That was so cool. And the needle is unlocked for other characters. Brimstone is unlocked. Oh boy. That's some loud music right there, Edmund. That's some loud music. But my god, that was great. And that was a very, very strong, very good run. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I will see you guys in the next one.